Hi, my name is Rod Howe from UnitedTaps.com and I'm going to walk you through the process of using the app Total Downloader to download various items from United Taps. This app will work on the iPad, iPhone, and the iPod. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the App Store and you want to download the Total Downloader app. Uh, this is the free version uh, or you can upgrade it for $2.99. So once I have that app, I'm going to open it up. It should automatically open up to the browser view as indicated by this depressed tab in the bottom left here right by my finger. But if not, you can just click on that tab and it'll take you to the browser view. Once in the browser view, you want to use the browser to navigate to your email. So I'm going to click on the address bar up here. Select all and I'm going to type in gmail.com. If you have Yahoo Mail, you can go to yahoomail.com or if you have AOL mail, you can go to AOL.com. I navigate to the email I received from United Taps. Now for whatever item I purchased, I'm going to try to find the mobile slash universal version if it's available. If not, you can always download the Mac version. So we're going to be going for the mobile version. Now the first thing we're going to start off with is our dictionary sample. So this next process We'll show you how to download and open up the Tap Dance Dictionary. And this process also works for the albums, which are in a special format called zip format. So I'm going to click and hold the link next to Dictionary Sample. Let's try that again. One more time. There we go. And at the bottom of the list, you see Save Target As. That's what I'm going to select. And... It pops up with the name. Right now it's called Test Dictionary. I'm more than fine with that. So I'm going to click on OK. And now if I look down here at the bottom on this next tab over here, that's the Downloads tab, I see a little red 1. And if I tap on it, I'm taken to the download screen where I can see the download progress bar moving right along. Now this is just a test file for the dictionary. It's not the full dictionary. The actual dictionary is much larger and will take longer to download. But for the demonstration purposes, I wanted something to download relatively quickly uh, so we could see how this all works. So if your download takes uh, quite a bit longer, that's totally normal. No need to worry about that. As I said before, you can upgrade this app. The current price to upgrade is $2.99. Uh, it gets rid of the ads, and it'll also get rid of uh, a mandatory delay between downloading files. Um, so the file's almost done. And once that's finished, you can see testdictionary.zip. Now I'm going to go to the bottom here, to the little file drawer icon, and tap on that. And over here on the left hand side it says download, so I'm going to tap on that and it's going to show me my downloads. There's a temp folder that was created folder that was created automatically, don't worry about that. But below that you see test dictionary zip. And to the right of that there's a little orange uh, wrench sign. If you hit that and then you find uncompress, you want to hit uncompress. And now it's uncompressing it or unzipping it, you could say. Um, it's basically putting the files in a format we can use. And when it's complete, you saw it pop up there, dictionary sample. From here, if I wanted to get rid of the test-dictionary.zip file, I could, because it's now in this usable form of dictionary-sample. So if I click on that, you can see I've got level one and level two. The real dictionary has six levels, but this is just a sample. If I click on level one, I've got my buffalo. Now the real level one will have, I believe it's uh, 40 videos, give or take. If I click on that, it plays just like that. Really nice. I could go full screen if I want. I can just buffalo. hit this right here. To do a buffalo, start with your... can pause it. When I'm done, I can click done. It's as simple as that. If I want to go back, I just hit the back arrow. And I can go to level 2. I've got my Maxi Ford there. can watch that. It's as simple as that. You simply would go through this process for each level in the dictionary. All right, so this also works for the albums. They come in a zip format, so you'll go through this exact same process, click uncompress, and once you uncompress it, you'll get a folder with each song in it, and you tap a song and it'll play. 
So what I'd like to do now is go back to our email and next we have a video sample. All right, so if we're downloading just a standard video, whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Let's go back. It's just going to play it right in the browser. I'm going to click and hold and select save target as. It's already labeled test video HD. I'm okay with that. Now, as before, I go to the downloads tab right here and we can watch that video come in. Again, it's just a test video. It's a real short, small sample uh, so we can get an idea of how this entire process works. So I'm going to let that uh, download and it's almost done. Come on. <laughs> almost there. There we go. As soon as that's done, I'm going to go to the bottom here, this little file tab, and hit that. And up here on the left hand side, I see my downloads folder. I'm going to tap on that. And there it is test video hd.mp4. All I have to do is tap on it. Plays there. Again, you could go full screen if you like, but that's really all I have to do. You can pause it. And it's as simple as that. Excellent. Let's go back to where we were before. We're going to go back to our email. Okay, so here we are back in our email. And now we're going to download the music sample, which is just a single song. If you download a full album, it's in zip format like the dictionary was. But sometimes you'll download just a single song. And I'm going to walk you through that. So I'm going to click and hold the link. Click Save Target As. There we go. And the name pops up. I click OK. Now I'm going to jump to my downloads folder. And of course, this is the free version, so it's making us wait approximately a minute before we do our next download. That's one of the drawbacks of the free versions, and it's one of the limitations that are removed if you purchase the $2.99 version. So I'll let that timer run out, and then we'll let it download. All right, so it's downloading, and there it's finishing up. Now I'm going to go to the bottom here to my uh, file tab. And right there you see test song mp3. I can just tap on it. Very nice. And it plays and I can hit pause and it stops. So that's how you download content from unitedtaps.com and you can have all that content grouped together in this nice little app and be able to access it very easily. The only downside to using an app like this to get United Taps content onto your device so that if you go to your main screen and you click on videos, the videos we downloaded inside that app do not show up in the native video player for the iPad or the iPhone or the iPod. If you want the videos to show up in the native video player, you'll need to download the files to a computer, then put the files into iTunes, and then sync your device with iTunes. Um, but it's not really a big deal. In fact, it's kind of nice to have all of the videos uh, and music packaged in, basically it's like your own United Taps app, all in one location so I can get to it very easily. I've got the list right here and I can access all my tap dance content just like that. So this is the uh, app Total Downloader, uh, which works on the iPad, iPhone, and iPod. And hopefully you found this helpful and informative. My name is Rod Howe from UnitedTaps.com, where we're teaching the world to tap dance.